All right, let's get right back to the breaking news of the LIRR train derailment and listen in to Governor Cuomo. Extensive. Uh, and uh, we, we have had a number of injuries, but frankly, that uh, we didn't lose any life uh, is something to be thankful for. As the county executive said, the first responders did a magnificent job. Uh, we've been through enough of these situations where we know the, the performance of the first responders can make all the difference. This is a difficult area to get to. You have that hill that you have to go up. Uh, we're now looking at it in daylight hours, but just imagine this in the pitch black when you have to get into that car and get injured people out and carry them down that slope, how hard that is. Uh, and they did that, and they did that fantastically well. So I want to thank the county officials uh, and the local officials, County Executive Mangano, for all their help and thanks. Um, the NTSB will be on site. And they're going to do an investigation as to how it happened. As you heard from Chairman Prendergast, both trains were, work, were running in the same direction. Uh, one was a work train, one was a revenue train, and they sideswiped each other. The question is why? And rather than speculate uh, on all the possible reasons why they could have sideswiped each other, I think the best course is let NTSB do their work, let's get the facts, and then let's go from there. Once we have the facts from NTSB, anything that the Long Island Railroad can learn from the incident, uh, we will learn. I want to thank Anthony Simon for being here, who represents the Long Island Railroad workers uh, and our federal colleagues. So once we have the facts, if there's something to change, we will. Uh, the order of business for this afternoon is going to be getting the trains uh, out of the way and getting the tracks back in service as soon as possible. Tomorrow, luckily, is a holiday, Columbus Day, so the traffic should be somewhat lighter. But ideally, we would have both tracks up and running. Uh, at a minimum, we want to have one track up and running. We have ordered out additional state resources to work with the MTA to do everything we can to expedite the tracks being back in service. If uh, we have to work all night long, all day, and all night long, we will, because we want to make sure tomorrow's commute uh, is as easy and normal as possible. Uh, and again, I want to thank all our colleagues who are so helpful in both the response and the federal colleagues who will now take over the investigation. With that, I'll turn it over back to uh, the chairman. Any on question, on topic questions, will be our pleasure to answer. Yes, the tracks are spaced far enough apart for that generally to happen. But in, for some reason, in this particular case, the piece of work equipment, the yellow piece of work equipment, came over into the clearance for the tr revenue service track that was on. And that's what we need to investigate. Why did that happen? Is it 33 that's what I, I understand. It's 33, 26, uh, 26 customers, seven employees, two that were on the work train, five that were on the revenue service train. How fast am I the train going? That'll be part of the investigation. But the revenue service train was most likely going faster than the uh, the work piece of work equipment. Why was the, work train on that track? the work train was on the track closest to us because the track was out of service. They were doing maintenance on the track. And one of the last steps is that piece of equipment going back and forth. And I think they had completed and they were going to make a move east with all the work equipment and clear up. Why it ended up where it did, violating the clearance envelope of the other track, that's what we need to find out in the investigation. So the all right, we've been listening in to an update at, uh, in New Hyde Park, the latest on the LIRR train derailment. Governor Cuomo speaking just a few minutes ago, saying the NTSB will be on scene to figure out exactly what happened. He says a commuter train and a work train were running simultaneously in the same direction. They somehow sideswiped each other, which caused the commuter train to derail. The question, the governor says, is why. That's what the NTSB is going to be looking at as they get on scene. As for train service, 
service. They are working to get uh, this train cleared so that the uh, lines can be back up and running. He said ideally both will be up and running by tomorrow, but perhaps only one. And the governor also said uh, updating the number 33 injuries now because that number's been going back and forth, mm -hmm. but uh, not you know non-life-threatening injuries. And you know how, how lucky we are that there were no fatalities. That there were no accidents. Uh, exactly. And just for people who need to take the train today, it is suspended. The Oyster Bay branch is suspended completely, and train service is also suspended between Jamaica and Hicksville. All right. You can count on CBS2 to bring you continuing coverage of the LIRR derailment. For updates at any time, head to our website, cbsnewyork.com.